what would you treat a foot ulcer? Like, what, what wound care would you use on a patient? Well, the principles of wound care that are most important are to, first of all, make sure there's adequate blood flow. Secondly, to offload the pressure that Dr. Fernandez mentioned, and this right. can be through uh, a, a number of different modalities. Non-weight bearing is the best thing to do, but we have different types of shoes and boots and pads that can take pressure off of these neuropathic type ulcers. Also controlling any infection that may be there. So the wound should be cultured and topical oral or IV antibiotics should be administered. And then routine debridements as well, which is debriding away or cutting away dead tissue, which can be food for bacteria and can also delay healing. So those are the four main principles of wound care. Now in terms of the, of the shoe, the specific shoe a patient would have to wear, what do those look like? Well, believe it or not, they don't look so bad these days. You know, typically when there's a, a, an acute wound, uh, we can create what are called healing sandals. Sometimes we use boots with uh, what's called plastizote. It's a special thick, spongy mm -hmm. material that's made to offload pressure points. But then once we, once we get the wounds to heal, uh, diabetic shoes look good these days. You can't look at them and tell that they're <laughs> problematic. Dr. Kinman, they're, they're, uh, they're diabetic, diabetic shoes. shoes. Diabetic shoes are on trend. Then, is what you're saying? <laughs> I think they are. They should be. They definitely should be. <laughs> okay. So now, if it doesn't go away, if the wounds don't go away, does this is this an indication that the patient may have PAD? Definitely. Okay. Definitely. And, and again, that's one of the first things that we assess when we see a diabetic foot with a wound: is make sure there's adequate blood flow.